Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television, brought to you by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Now, of course, Sig Sauer is known for being both a Swiss and German manufacturer, but they also make guns, most of their guns, right here in the United States. And this week, we're taking you to New Hampshire to show you how they make them. Our Rifleman review gun this week is the TriStar Setter. It's an affordable over-under shotgun. For I have this old gun, we look at an interesting Cold War machine pistol, and that is the Czech Scorpion. But right now, let's head for Sig Sauer. Sometime in the future, you're going to begin to hear uh, something called Newington, New Hampshire, which is where we are in this factory. And you don't have to walk around for very long to understand that Sig Sauer is fully committed to making these incredibly high quality guns in an American factory with the most sophisticated machinery and the greatest employees. Virtually the entire Sig Sauer product line is made here and a couple of product lines that are remaining uh, in Germany will be transitioning to America within the year. So we're very excited about that and, and as you can see this 200 plus thousand square foot facility is geared up to make high quality American made guns for a very long time for this extremely proud brand called Sig Sauer. So the MCX, it's no secret now, was a, a government tender that we were working on. Basically what we did is we took our 516 platform and said what is it we need to do in order to meet the specifications of the request. So we left the AR feel and controls, but we basically strengthened the upper receiver so it could become a 50,000 round gun. I'm here with Adam Johnson. Adam's the assistant rifle product manager here at SIG. And we're looking at the MCX. Now, this is a really interesting sort of AR derivative rifle that is multi-caliber configurable. Adam, tell us a little about the MCX, what makes it so special. Yeah, I mean, you nailed it right there. Multi-caliber was kind of the objective. Um, 5.56, 300 blackout, um, soon to be 7.62 by 39. Okay. User changeable barrels. You don't need a big barrel nut tool to remove it. It's just two screws under the handguard. You take them out, they're captive, so you're not going to lose them. Okay. And you can pull your barrel out, pull your new blackout one on. You don't have to change the bolt unless you're going to 7.62 by 39. Right. Because the bolt is this AR bolt, essentially, there was no lockup issues. It wasn't the same kind of challenge as an MPX. But the gas system in that gun has been the challenge to make sure it works suppressed, unsuppressed with all these different variants. So finding the optimal position on the barrel, as well as to be able to run short barrels, long barrels, and all that type of thing. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.